Hello everyone, welcome to the online class. So, let's learn today laws of indices. Laws of indices. Before learning the laws of indices, we discuss about the indices. That means, what is indices? Indices is a useful way of more simply expressing large number. That means, a simple way of expressing large number is known as indices. So, plural form of index is known as indices. And index is also called power or exponent. Let us take an example. Here, the first we have 3 multiplied 4 times is read as 3 to the power 4. That means the compact form of 3 multiply 3 multiply 3 and multiply 3 is 3 to the power 4. Similarly, the compact form of 3 times multiplied z is z cube or z to the power 3. Now, let's start learning the laws of indices. The first law, the product law, which we can see here down, that is taken as a variable is n. So, we have the base m a and a. When we multiply the same base, we add their power. Like here, a to the power n multiplied by a to the power n, which is equals to a to the power n plus n. So, we can see through the example, uh, 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 2 power 3 is having the same base 2. So, we have added their power 2 plus 3, which equals to 2 power 3, has value 32. Similarly, next one, z to the power 4 multiplied by z cube. We have the same base here, z and z. Therefore, powers are added here now, 4 plus 3 equals to z to the power 7. So, when expression with the same base are multiplied, the indices are added. The second law, the quotient law, let us take an example. Uh, we can see here 2 by 7 divided by 3. That means, 2 power 7 divided by 2 power 3, which have the same base 2 and 2. Therefore, the powers are subtracted as a 2 power 7 minus 3. That equals to 2 power 4 equals to 16. That means we can say that when we have the same base, then we subtract their power in division form. That means if you are expressing in the division form, then we subtract their power. So, here next example you can see by the side. x to the power 7 divided by x power 3 in which we have the same base x. So, uh, we have subtracted the power x to the power 7 minus 3. That equals to x to the power 4. Okay. Continuing the same, if we have the denominator is greater, that is, I mean to say, power of the denominator is greater, that is, n is bigger than power of the numerator, then we subtract the power in denominator. When expression with the same base having greater power in denominator are divided, the indices are subtracted in denominator. That means, if power of the denominator is greater, then we subtract in denominator. Okay. See an example now here. 2 power 3 of 1, 2 power 5. That means, 2 power 3 is divided by 2 power 5. That denominator has a greater power. So, we subtract in denominator. So, 1 of 1, 2 to the power 5 minus 3, that equals to 1 by 
to square equals to 1 by 4. Similarly, x to the power 4 divided by x power 7 or x power 4 divided by x power 7. x and x, we have the common base that is the same base. So, in case of division, we subtract the power. But here, we have power of the denominator is greater. So, we subtract in denominators to get positive power. So, 1 upon x to the power 7 minus 4 equals to 1 by x cube. Third law, that is power law. Okay. If something to the power is 0, except the base is 0, then the value is always 1. Something to the power is 0, that means value is always 1. I did not say that is nothing. There is something. There must be something, not 0. Okay, let us take an example. 7 square by 7 square. That equals to 7 to the power 2 minus 2 because this is quotient form. So, value equals to 0. Same this the form. We now simplify it. 7 square by 7 square equals to 7 square means 7 multiplied by 7. It is same, 7 multiplied by 7. If you cancel this 7, then you get 1. We have derived from the same 7 square by 2. That is 1 is 7 to the power 0. And next we have here 1. That means 7 to the power 0 equals to 1. Similarly, x cube by x cube. We have the same base. This is a form of division or quotient. So, we subtract their power that equals to x to the power 0. And here, the same expression we have here, x cube by x cube. Multiplying 3 times, x cube is the product of 3 times x. So, cancelling this x and x, we get that equals to 1. That means, we can easily evaluate that if something to the power 0, that equals to 1. Fourth law, power raised to power. When the power, something to the power is whole power multiplied by something. That is, we multiply the power. Power raised to power. That means, we multiply the power. Here, a to the power n, whole power n equals to a to the power n multiplied n equals to a power mn. So, power raised to power, that is multiplied. Let us see an example here now. 3 to the power 3, whole power 2. That powers are multiplied here. 3 into 2. That is 3 power 6 equals to 759. Next example, x power 3, whole power 2. The powers are multiplied here. 3 multiplied 2. Therefore, we have x power 6. Common power. That is, if different base has the same power, we can separate their power. If something to the whole power, that is, it has the common power. Different base has the same power or common power. We can separate their power and it's vice versa. That is, different base has the same power means we can take as a common power. Different base has the same power. That means, in the product form, we can take as a common power. We can see an example as well here now. 3 multiplied 2 to the power 2. That is whole power 2. So, we have split it here now. 3 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 2. We separate their powers. And from the separation of the power in a different base, in the form of product, we can also write down the common power. When different base with the same power are multiplied, then we can take as a common. 
we also can see from this example. Thank you very much. Looking this example as well, the DOM, we have your division examples. You will do the homeworks below given here as a O 